Hey guys, Zot here, and welcome to another quick tip. This time, we're going to be showing you how top assassination rogues set up the perfect swap. When watching top assassination rogues swap to targets with kidney shot, it often feels like they're somehow doing more damage. Well, truth be told, this is not the case. What they are doing though is setting up the swap preemptively. For instance, check this swap here from Method Black onto the enemy rogue. Waz pretty much solos the enemy rogue inside of a kidney shot bomb. To see this more in depth, let's take a look at the same swap, but this time from Waz's point of view. How does he do this much damage? Well, the answer is simple. He had already set up for this swap to happen. Check here. He walks over and makes sure to have both Garot and Rapture up onto Ashley the Rogue already before going for the blind on the Druid. But why is this important? Well, both Garot and Rupture give you energy back when your target is poisoned, thanks to Venomous Wounds, as pretty much all assassination rogues know already. This means you need these bleed effects up on the target you're looking to kill. However, look at Waz's damage during the Kidney. He Vendettas, Toxic Blade, Mutilate Mutilate into Envenom, soloing the rogue to basically zero health all by himself. Now picture this same swap here if he didn't have the foresight to get his bleeds up before. He would have to step, kidney, garo, then get a rupture up and then begin his damage rotation, meaning there is no chance of the enemy rogue dying. This damage was no fluke, it was just set up perfectly. So when looking to make swaps as assassination, always look to if you can get your bleeds up first, although try not to make it too obvious. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Thanks for watching and be sure to plus skill if you enjoyed.